Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Tom and I'm back um, doing some more alignments. I have, uh, I've done a number of them off camera because they're all internal alignments that depend on the microprocessor and the radio and adjusting uh, ranges on the front LCD screen. And there's really difficult to videotape. It's just not practical. It's really straightforward in the book. If anybody's building one of these, you're doing this stuff anyway. And uh, lots of people have built these just before me and uh, didn't videotape it. But I'm hoping to videotape as much of this. I keep saying videotaping. I'm recording it on digital. Um, so I did the BFO alignment, which is all setting uh, internal filters. You, you set all the filters up and then and then uh, it's the BFO test it's the internal filters it's the calibration of the BFO range and all that that's all done um, and the BFO BFO alignment it, it all has to do with the filters it's all internal I'm up to VFO uh, linear is I did VFO linearization also off camera because you have to listen on headphones and peak a thing for the highest output using your ears. This one, and you may be able to hear that tone in the background, is the IF amplifier alignment. Oh no, I did that. Yeah, that's the one where I was listening for the internal tone. I'm mixing these up. I'm on the 40 meter bandpass filter alignment. I'm going to read the directions and you can see what I have set up here. I have the radio set to 7150. I have my frequency gener signal generator, my signal generator set up to 7.150 at negative 100 dB with 50% modulation. And I will put the mic by the headphone. I don't know, it's probably pretty loud, but you can hear the tone. Connect an antenna or signal generator to the antenna jack, which I've done. Set it for 7150, which I have done. Strong enough to activate the S meter, which you can see on camera on the left, the little green thing, and it's between the 5 and the 9. If you're using an antenna, tune in a signal in the radio. I'm not using an antenna. Um, you can do a radio signal to do it if you don't have a signal generator. Okay, so I, I'm using a signal generator. Finally got to use this thing and verified that it works. I bought this at a ham uh, estate sale last spring. I think I talked about it once on video. I never have actually used this thing yet. Uh, it's a nice HP one. It was a uh, silent key. The guy was an electrical engineer at a house full of equipment. And I went there looking for one of these generators. He had three of them. This was actually the best one because it, it had the highest range, uh, frequency range. It goes from 0.1 to 1,040 megahertz, uh, so and it's an H, very nice HP. Got it for a great price. Okay, anyhow, I'm digressing. Use plastic tool to adjust L1 and L2. They're both small uh, little IF cans, little cans on the back. For pick signal strength, you may also be able to use the bar graft if the signal's strong enough. If you don't now hear a signal. Go to the troubleshooting. Okay, so I'm gonna move this a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna keep keep things in camera. I'm gonna put the mic by the headphones. Not totally in them, but extremely close. So you're probably hearing that loud tone, which I don't think you're gonna hear that peak anyway watching the signal here is what I'm looking at. I'm going to turn these so we dropped or up bouncing or back down. Okay. Going to the next one. I'm going to move that away. I think you're, I think that's way too loud and it's not helpful to hear that tone because it's not, it's certainly not enhancing the video because it, the tone isn't going to change much. It, it, I'm looking at the signal on the S meter. 
Okay, churning this one, dropping up. I'm blocking it, I know. Dropping again. We're just peeking it. I guess I'm just going to have to peek it in between at that fit it setting. Down, middle, down, middle. the center for each one just doesn't want to bump higher so I guess that's where we'll put it halfway between where it drops and we'll call that the best I can get it hopefully that's good Okay, in CW mode, the frequency shown on the display takes into account an offset equal to your side tone pitch. This allows you to determine the station's actual carrier frequency by matching the pitch to the side tone rather than by zero beating the signal. The spot switch can be used for that purpose. That's just informational. This completes 40 meter receiver alignment. You may wish to become familiar with the K2's receiver features before proceeding. You'll install the remaining band pass filters and align the transmitter on all boards. So I think at this point we will hook this up to 40 meters on an antenna and see if we're picking up radio signals. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I have hooked the radio to an ant my antenna, which is my G5 RV in the backyard. I'm going to turn the antenna open on the antenna switch. Uh, oh, you know what? Hang on. Just go right. Let's put this on the side there. It's That noise is horrific tonight. I can't do anything about it. That crackling is noise in my neighborhood. I don't know where it's coming from. It's there often. It's not always there. Sometimes it just goes silent. I have um, the uh, noise blanker option for this radio, but I have not installed it yet. That's a later thing. And uh, it usually knocks off that crackling. I, I When I turn the noise blanker on my other radios on, it knocks it right out so that crackling that sounds like really bad static is just noise from electrical interference in my neighborhood unfortunately but the radio's working
station. Smart. Okay, that's enough. Um, we have a working radio. The conditions tonight are horrible. Once the noise blanker is in, it'll sound a lot better. So I'll say 73 at this point in the video. Uh, next we go on to the next part three assembly. Here's a little bit of a uh, CW Morse code. This is a uh, filter number two. noise but it sounds better than the side pan did. Thanks for listening. And this is a uh, PSK 31. which you have to use software to actually decipher. Uh, and eventually I will have this hooked to a computer. <laughs> 